Well here we are on a beautiful autumn day. I'm just about to change the feeder, my internal feeder. As you can see the tube is, uh, is empty. They've uh, been very busy. That's a 125 mil, I think, uh, tube, which probably has about 100 mil of honey in it. And I put that in there eight days ago. So you can see they, uh, they love it and they love to, to go and eat it. And this is the one that I am about to replace it with, this one here. Now it's not an original design, I take no credit for the design. It just has a uh, high density um, polyethylene float in it and there's just a piece of coat hanger wire that runs up through the top and the, the bees enter, <coughs> enter through this little tube here and down in there and they sit on that float and that float just goes down as they uh, as they take the honey away. As I said, it's not a, not a original design. I think uh, Bob and, uh, and Clumpy, I can take the, take the credit for that. I'm not sure which one, but either one of, one of those two. And there's something very interesting that these little critters do, and I'll show you that uh, right now. When I take the feeder out, I just pull it apart and just stick it to the front of the hive, the hive entrance, and um, and they seem to uh, to find their way back in at night and there's a bit of flying around there's a bit flying around a few flying around here at the moment and um, but they find their way back in at night don't know whether this is the right thing to do or not but uh, what fascinates me is that um, on the guide in the feeder they build <coughs> I haven't seen a, a little, uh, I haven't seen a, like a honey pot, I haven't seen one of those before but um, they certainly line that slider with, uh, with ceramine and what I've been doing I've just been cutting that off and placing it on the ledge at the front of the hive so as that uh, it doesn't go to waste and they absolutely love it even on a cool day they will come out and um, get that and take it back into the hive as quickly as they possibly can. It's pretty hard to see, but that's the inside of that little pot just before it gets blown away. And uh, it is empty, there's not a trace of honey in there, so um, I don't know if that was the plan or not. But I'm just going to scrape that off there now and put it in front of the hive and I'll show you what they do to it. Well, there's the ceremony you can see I've just placed it on the hive on, on the shelf on the hive and you can see the response you can see how long it takes them to come out discover it and come out and start collecting it to take it straight back in and they will work on that until it's gone so they obviously value that as a, uh, a very good commodity Well, this is about three quarters of an hour later after I've put that sermon out there and as you can see there's not too much left I've taken at least half probably three quarters of it and um, and there's no sign of uh, of them stopping
Well, another three quarters of an hour to an hour has gone, and uh, the sun is over the yard arm. It's just gone three o'clock here. The front of the hive's now in shadow, but as you can see, all, it's all gone. There is not a trace of it left. So uh, that little ceremony that I put out there before has all been taken inside, obviously ready to be used again. Waste not, want not.